Sankarshan Mukopadhyay, old friends from the India Linux user group. Long time friends. So, so uh, Sankarshan, when we met, I was just wondering one thing. The Wikipedians are in a sense parallel. They are the knowledge equivalent of what free software, open source try to do for software. Yes. Two questions. How do you compare these two movements and uh, what about the loss of that movement? Maybe the first one first. I think I'll take the, okay. the other one. Given that when we actively participated the Linux user group, uh, the GNU Linux user group, there's always the GNU part among the Linux yeah. user group, yeah. were not just flourishing, they were actually driving more people to adopt, learn, share and be able to participate. Late 90s, early 2000s. Late 90s, early 2000s and what eventually happened is that, curiously enough, as Linux and open source software and free and open source software became more mainstream. When we were doing it, it was in at least in India or in the APAC region, it was not mainstream. It was almost thought of hobbyist. You go to an enterprise, they will say, but who is going to support it if I adopt it? And so there, Very was, always nerdy, this, nerdy. there, there was always this thing that it is by the hackers, for the hackers and only about the hackers. And now if we look at it, Free and open source software practically drives the world. If software has eaten the world, free and open source software is the largest part. Including on our mobiles and everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, people, individuals do not realize that they are using free and soft, open source software as part of their daily lives. They don't know it is on their mobile. I mean, we had a joke going on, right, that will this be the year of the Linux desktop? The, it's the it's been a year of Linux on the mobile for ages now. Yeah. What exactly is Android at the end of the day? So I think... The Linux user groups uh, kind of did what they had to do. What I found, and I've been in two minds about this. I personally, I feel distressed that the bonds that brought us together are now very tenuous, very loose, in some cases absent. So we are no longer seeing that I found my tribe, I found my place to belong and share and learn. No, those are no, they're, they're specialized groups. Now there are programming language groups, there are a distributed computing group, cloud computing group, and so on and so forth. All of whom refer to the basic tenets that we lived and breathed, which is like share collectively, learn collectively, remember to be respectful, and include everyone. Like the other day I was looking at a programming language group for Rust, and the they're talking the same vernacular... R-A-S-T? R-U-S-T. R-U-S-T. And they're talking the same vernacular that we did, just do not know that they are talking the same thing that we did like 10, 15 years back, right? It's also funny in a way, which, which means that there is a need to have the history of what we did recorded. So on one side, I was, I'm sometimes unhappy that our movement did not sustain. On the other hand, I'm happy that... It outgrew itself. The movement kind of did what it had to do. It had to make this mainstream, make this possible. And once it was possible, I think it was on us to figure out what the next step should be. Instead, what happened is all of us got into our daily life and kind of stepped back. Which is where I think, Fred, you say that it has died down. I mean, there's hardly any Linux user group mailing list in India that is active today. There's sporadic emails. Pune Lag has, yeah. has a few. Bombay Lag has a Calcutta few. Calcutta also. Calcutta, Maybe I, Chennai. I, Calcutta I haven't seen no. Chennai a bit. Okay. Uh, but it's not like the friendships have broken. Yeah. Is the platform has dissipated. Yeah. Today I met you after so many years. Yeah, exactly. And and I think the, the Wikipedia movement will eventually also go through a similar thing. Where how do you compare these two? That and this. I think this is fundamentally more stronger than what we had because in a way what we were we were convinced about the code, the strength of the code. We were more worried about how to sustain. Over here, I think the belief is that this will sustain because inclusive knowledge for everybody is a, is a given. You don't really have to question it. Yeah. Like if you question it, you're probably coming from a different frame of mind altogether. So I think the belief core value system is very strong. I think the challenge mostly might be about today, the way content is being created and content is available to everyone is different. And with synthetic content also getting very popular. And I'm deliberately calling it synthetic content rather than content. AI, AI. The, uh, the source I reached this morning, right? Yes, I did. And, and the AI related yeah. 
I think that's going to be the challenge because you are then going to have to question the veracity and the authenticity of what you are, what the content is. And that is the challenge, is like how do you create more and more systems to be able to establish that there is authentic, real knowledge. Uh, we heard today that sometimes because of a tradition of overall citation, some knowledge cannot be documented and coded in Wikipedia, right? There's a gap. So that gap needs to be filled somehow. Uh, it, uh, that gap cannot be just left be left there for synthetic content to fill. So I think those are the challenges. But I think in contrasting the thing, given the economic conditions and the social conditions that these two groups were in, like the lugs and the Wikipedia movement of today, I think this movement is far more vibrant and stronger. It's more more resilient. I think we had more self doubts. We had our, our fights on the lug list were through self doubts because we had like seven different ways. Everybody trying to establish this is the way forward. Living in the same thing, but seven different ways, right? I don't think there are seven different ways over here. It's like everybody wants to believe and move in the same direction. So that's that's the beauty of this. Tell us something about yourself, your background, your programming. So I have a very funny background in the sense like I'm not a computer programmer by academic training. I am, I've been trained in chemistry. I see. And I got into computer programming by chance. Which year? Uh, I think it was 1995-96. That's bloody early, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I was also introduced to free and open source software during that period. So I've been... Very early, I've very been, early. I've been exposed to the philosophy way early. Which university? Uh, the University of Calcutta, Calcutta University. And uh, primarily through a whole bunch of folks we came in contact with. But... I think what has happened is that over a period of time I realized that uh, my interests lie less in coding, self-awareness that I'm not a good programmer and uh, I'm more in trying to take ideas and make them real in the sense like you want to application you want to take uh, you want to realize that you want to establish that a certain thing can be done by free and open source software writing the specification for I it see. to be able to manage the delivery I of see. it and I all see. that so I believe that was an interesting pivot because it, there was not a lot of people doing this at that time. So I like doing that. And Some contact for you? Uh, I am Twitter. I am on Twitter as Sankarshan, S A N K A R S H A N. On the master. Just Sankarshan. Just Sankarshan. <laughs> Sankarshan Thakur doesn't have that. So I get a lot of DMs for, for him. <laughs> Uh, and some of those DMs are not pleasant also. Anyway, you are better than me because I get a lot of DMs for the French racist party, <laughs> FN, FN, and 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 for the UN, UN, which in in some Swedish or Scandinavian uh, of its reiterations, iterations, it is FN, mm. which of which I am neither. Okay, and I am on master on social as Shankarshan again. And at Shankarshan. At, at, at Shankarshan. Yeah. My first name is pretty rare, much my. Rare handle um, in most cases so uh, yeah uh, I don't do a lot of Facebook so I'm not on I mean Facebook probably will take some time but professionally if anybody wants to look me up again Sankarshan Mukhopadhyay on LinkedIn would work and uh, this is exactly how I look on my LinkedIn there is no you get difference. what you, you 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 get what you see exactly thanks Satan thanks Greg.